I think I'm gonna do this to once again have the highest chance of winning. Oh. It's not working thus far. Actually, not that far behind in terms of net worth. I already got this bad boy here. Maybe you can play six hunters sometime soon. Bah. Yes! Four Shaman Dream with Hunters is dead, but don't worry, it wasn't a good dream to begin with, you know? So let's see the contention situation. I think re-rolling is a bad idea. We must uh, continue leveling up, and we've basically already reached six Fallen, despite not even looking for them, and now our lineup is complete. Hello everyone, and welcome back to this humble abode of gameplay and memes. Today we're returning to White Spire as we continue once again to play Dota Underlords in a never-ending struggle to reach the top. So, uh, it's been a while since I uploaded the last video, right? Well, you know, stuff happens. Uh, I have been playing on my own time, you know, while I wasn't recording, and I gotta say, it's been quite a bit of a roller coaster over here. I went, I think I went over half uh, the, the, the bar of Big Boss, uh, Big Boss 4, but right now, I'm at the very bottom of Big Boss 3. Bruh. So, yeah. I hate this everything hurts! This is just how it goes with this game. You know, you have a few bad games, you, know, you get into a bad mood or something, and all of a sudden, you're down in the dumps completely. Okay, so this first round not going too bad here. We got ourselves rogues, and a tier, tier 2 character, Wind Ranger, who's very valuable, at, at even at 1 star. Especially round one. Okay, so gloves of haste. Yeah, I mean sure why not. I rarely pick up gloves of haste I usually go for something like, uh, you know, talisman of evasion or uh, uh, what, what you call it chainmail <laughs> But this time I think this is going to be good. So right here Hmm I think I'm going to play yet another tier 2 character here and actually also deploy anti-mage at the same time because anti-mage is incredible value I'm not sure if I should I think I should honestly should sell the bounty hunter in favor of Venomancer here we're running into a bit of a problem here considering uh, you know where the enemy has got themselves uh, more tier 2 characters and savages as well so it looks like we're losing this round to an extremely unfortunate placement of our anti-mage Mmm, yeah, I think I'm selling the Bounty Hunter and getting the Venomancer. As per usual, I'm going to try for a win streak. There's two Meepos. That's a very interesting choice. However, I am not getting baited by Meepos. Not again. What? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but she's already in anyway. I think I'm gonna do this. To once again have the highest chance of winning, Hunters with uh, Heartless at this stage sound, does sound pretty good. Unfortunately, our anti mage is not moving at all, so he ain't gonna do anything for a while. Quite unfortunate indeed. Okay, now he's mana burning the bristle back, or something, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I wish you guys put up a fight as well. But alas, so right now I'm accumulating mages, fallen, uh, I mean hunters, and some uh, poisoners in order to hopefully go on a early win streak. It's not working thus far. I've got two, we are one for two. But I'm sure we can remedy this in the near future, especially when we get something like Beastmaster. Uh, there's another Beastmaster. Huh. That's interesting. Should we. Yeah, I think I should just sell the anti-mage at this point, get this bad boy in. Because I don't believe anti-mage is here to stay, and yes, I am also... There is Dazzle too. I think I want to... Yeah, I want to buy the Dazzle here. I don't know if Hunters are contested right now, it looks like they aren't. There could be some contention in the future, but not as of right now. The Batrider is easy prey for the Vigilant Alliance, because they get, you know, bonus damage every time Batrider activates his sticky napalm. So here I want to... yeah, I think I'm okay with selling one Venomancer. Might sound counterintuitive, but you know, Venomancer, he is not very good even at, uh, at two stars. He is mostly there for... two Meepos again, by the way. <laughs> He's mostly there for, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the Poisoner Alliance, so... 
even if he's one star, it, it it's not a very big difference between between one star and two star. There's Vengeful Spirit upgrading. Definitely interested in that. And we're still, huh? There is a choice to put Nature's Prophet in right now. I am, hmm. You know, I think I'll get out of these guys here just to secure 10 gold. And I guess I'm shifting more towards uh, uh, Heartless and Fallen rather than uh, rather than Mages. So with this we pretty much get out of Mages. Uh, there I, I already see a few people trying to go for them or, or something. This is our first interest gold. We have claimed here, we are actually not that far behind in terms of net worth. The first place player is at 26. No idea what happened there. Alright. So that's a two-star Beastmaster. That is a... That is a very nice upgrade to pick up. Hmm. So I, I kind of want the Nature's Prophet because... You know, Nature's Prophet might go in uh, the at the next level to activate the Shaman Alliance. Here I'll probably get the Slark as well. Maybe even Magnus, it remains to be seen. Alright, so this player seems to be intending on contesting Hunters with Vigilant and Heartless already on the field. It remains to be seen how successful they're going to be, considering I already got this bad boy here. So we might go for something like Shaman Hunters, maybe, at least for, for the time being, until we manage to find something better. But I also want this Vengeful Spirit to stay in as well. Okay, there's a two-star Slark for us, but I, yeah, I don't think I'm getting baited by that. It would be a cool idea to just get a casual two-star Slark like that, but we do need to get money somehow. And right now, our win streak isn't sufficient to, you know, pay off the investments that we made earlier. This is a horrifying lineup where it's just our anti mage, just our Meepo, and it's just our Nature's Prophet. Thankfully, anti mage is down extremely quickly, and the Prophet is down as well. So now we only have to deal with the Meepo. However, there's a bit of a problem as Triple Spike Kill! Game. I was gonna say that it's a bit of a problem considering, you know, Meepo isn't dying, but he did manage to kill him in the end. I think, yeah, I think the next one is going to be Prophet. And with that, we'll probably, yeah, we'll get rid of Dazzle. And play Prophet instead. There's another Anti-Mage. Hmm, so... A very peculiar situation here. Uh, the first place player is has lost their win streak. I think, actually, we were the ones who just destroyed it. So that's cool. Okay, this player is also level 5 though. Uh, that's a bit of a bummer. Oh, the Spirit Breaker completely destroys us, of course. Or, you know, steamrolls our whole lineup. And then everyone dies to the Snapfire Barrage. But thankfully, the Snapfire is down super quickly as well. I'll buy the Anti Mage just in case, in order to, you know, maybe you can play six hunters sometime soon. I don't, I don't imagine so, but you never know. And yeah, we also should buy all of these because because that helps us increase the odds of finding what we need. Barricade, Stone Hole, Cloak, Paladin, Sword. Uh, I mean, Barricade isn't too bad for Hunters, but... Oh, these are worse. Okay, well, <laughs> let's get a Dragon Lance, I suppose. Ooh, there is Nature's Prophet. Okay, never mind, so Prophet gets the Dragon Lance. It's gonna be standing like here. Is there any Pudges on the field? No. So Prophet can stay here for now. Uh, this needs to be benched. This needs to be sold. Something else needs to be sold, but I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be. Because I kind of want all of these guys. Okay, so this is four Heartless. Pudges on the field? No. Actually, five Heartless, but uh, the trouble is they don't have any sort of... Uh, yeah. Bah. The Vengeful Spirit survived somehow, but yeah. What? They don't have any upgrades, it seems like, yep, yeah, no two stars whatsoever. Five Heartless this early is impressive, but with no two stars, you're not gonna go far. Anyway, let's bite all of these, so that, once again, we can increase the odds 
are finally upgrading our Wind Ranger, at least, hopefully. Rabbit Furball support damage, healing support, so from what I hear, uh, support damage dealer is pretty bad right now. It's good with hunters, don't get me wrong, but I, I do believe... I do believe we want to grab this Joel to provide us with a little bit more tankiness. Okay, so we need to obviously sell, I said obviously, sell all of these. Now we are getting closer to, I mean, we're leveling up to six next round and we're grabbing this Terror Blade. One, two, three, four. I wonder if with this kind of lineup I should stay at level seven and roll. Maybe roll for a three-star Terror Blade and Beastmaster. Because you know, Right now, I don't see that many. Okay, well, there is some contention on Terra Bleed. And Lifestealer as well, probably, so... Well, not that much on Lifestealer, but definitely is some on Terra Bleed. Alright, so now we can... I think we can switch out the Wind Ranger. Even though... Okay, well, this is a miss. Uh, get out of Phantom Mage. Magnus. Uh, switch out the Wind Ranger. Get terribly in, and now we've got Fallen as well. So Lich can go here, something like this. Desolator on Venge, I guess. I am, oh, I'm actually below 30 gold, but since we are on a win streak, it might prove to be okay still. Okay, this that's an uh, healer and steal an Edo. Can always prove problematic. Okay, we are all casting spells. Which means the enemy can't, uh, the enemy vigilance can't really focus us too efficiently, and boom! Yes! We actually complete our streak here, surprisingly. And now we just need to figure out what we want to do next. So we have. Oh, oh, well, nope, nope, didn't want to do that. Uh, yeah, so we've got. Uh, you know, we've got a whole bunch of vengeful spirits here. Okay, there's Lifestealer, who we apparently want as well. I think we get out of Enchantress here, so. Of the uh, four shaman dream with hunters is dead, but don't worry, it wasn't a good dream to begin with, you know. <laughs> Two, three, four. Oh, assassins! Assassins may prove problematic, especially someone like Phantom Assassin because her, uh, you know, she doesn't cast spells, so the vigilance won't really focus her. But we actually don't have vigilance right now, so I'm not sure what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, just the usual bam things. Okay, so. Wow, we don't have a Desolator either, because our Vengeful Spirit is dead, but it looks like it doesn't matter, matter, matter. and we're still kind of good. Okay, so next up, the next thing we want in is either for Heartless, with probably removing Lich and Terra Blade or something, a uh, Mask of Madness, Silver Age, hmm. So Mask of Madness is, might be good in general, but I think Silver Edge is a safer option. We do have Life Stealer for Mask of Madness, but it's not entirely clear if he ever goes in. Alright, so we're level 7, the game suggests Wind Ranger, and honestly I tend to agree. Uh, let's do something like this, so that, you know, the Drow is at the front. She won't be too useful, I don't, I'm okay with losing her. By the alchemist here, because you know alchemist is is just amazing in general. All right. So let's see the contention situation. Uh, there's vengeful spirits. There's shadow demons. There's uh, where are the terror blades though? Yeah, there are plenty of people going terribly. So I think re-rolling is a bad idea. Which means I'm going to continue leveling up and see what happens. You know, one thing I probably should have done there was re-roll the items to hopefully find a a crown of antlers you know a crown of antlers is, a, is an amazing item for hunt any kind of hunter build but i decided for a safer option hmm there's another beast master now that's interesting uh but yeah we need to get out of all these guys what is happening over there oh that's not good someone found a phantom assassin already and it's the other person's. Okay, so there are two people going for assassins. That's good for us, because... Yeah, I think I'm selling the Vengeful Spirits here. Uh, doing Also doing some leveling. Alright, so uh, of course... Uh, what is this? Healing Tank? Yeah. 
Healing tank isn't that amazing, but he gets the job done. And that's all I care about. Okay, uh, so the enemy does claim our Beastmaster here. But with such an overwhelming advantage, I think we should still be good. And yeah, Beastmaster is, fo is focusing the Jol. Probably the, o the only target he actually couldn't kill. And that's, once again, very good for us. <laughs> Another Terra Blade. Uh, sure. And we're collecting some Beastmasters on the side. Uh, we must uh, continue leveling up, as per plan. It might be a decent idea to also do some to also do some uh, rerolling for just upgrades. You know, two stars like Lich, Wind Ranger, uh, Life Stealer, perhaps. We also uh, uh, still have a single Drow all this time. Okay, the enemy Anti Mage is down. The enemy Meepo is down. Looks like Rogue Hunters <laughs> aren't working too well for this guy, although this guy does still has, still have a sizable health pool, so I don't know, it remains to be seen. So we can- oh, we should probably buy these, yeah? Who is in need of protection? Everyone, buddy. Everyone. Alright, so there's a two-star alchemist. And I think I am buying this two-star alchemist. How many hunters do I have? Oh yeah. You know what? I'll do... Uh, this actually This way we still have uh, three hunters, but we also have brutes uh, One we need to continue to keep leveling uh, our wind ranger got hooked, which is not bad Okay, our no our life stealer is actually getting claimed this time life stealer isn't nearly as scary as uh, you know beast master but for some reason, we can't deal with the enemy life stealer here. I'm not sure what's up with that. <laughs> I guess this nature's prophet just isn't doing enough damage, and yeah, our win streak is over. Ooh. Now that's too bad. We couldn't go on another 100% <laughs> or full win streak. Well, that was a bit of an adventure now, wasn't it? I need a drink. I need a drink. <laughs> um, Necronomicon, Leg Breakers, yeah. I don't feel bad rerolling these at all. I mean, we found we only found worse items. I guess we could go actually in here for, I don't know, Beastmaster maybe. <laughs> Nothing of interest here, so we once again can reroll. Oh, and we can find another two-star Beastmaster. Should I buy that? I think I should. See, right now we aren't leveling up. We have no reason to just rush level ups. And we will be level, uh, what you call it, level eight next round. Yeah. And this guy has a 2-star Slark at level 5, rolling for something. Meeples and Anti-Mages, I see. Okay, well. Huh, yeah, it's not gonna be too great for you, because we are prepared. Okay, the Jolt down, and the Bounty Hunter shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yep, there we go. Still in first place. Still doing relatively okay for ourselves, and yeah, now I want... I want this in. Yes. Now we've got Fallen online. Once again, as well as... As well as these guys. Uh, Heartless. Four Heartless. Yes, three Fallen, four Heartless, and uh, three Hunters. All around very nice. Alright, so we sell these guys, of course. We buy Abaddon. We need to give the gloves to someone. Uh, uh, I don't know. Alchemist, maybe. Actually, no. Alchemist should get the Silver Edge, I think. And Terrorblade, no, actually, the Life Stealer should get that. So he can apply the Brute debuff more actively. And I'll move up Joel slightly as well. So he tanks a bit more damage because I don't think he's tanking enough currently. Alright, so there's Knights with the Spectre. Oh, <laughs> the Spectre just almost, uh, yeah. The Spectre just almost one-shot our Drow with her dagger. <laughs> That's because Drow is one star, of course. That will change. But unfortunately, it looks like, yeah, we just don't have enough to punch through these hundred, through, through these knights. And so we go down here. Not to worry, though. We're still flying a quarter of a ship. Uh, I mean three quarters, excuse me. <laughs> My math is getting worse and worse by the day. Impressive. Alright, so there's Miranus. 
There's... Wait, uh... Okay, I... Oh, no! Uh, what? Alright, we're mid... This is bad. This is really bad, I dare say. Uh... Okay. I guess we have to settle for something like this for now, because I'm not losing two Miranas that just came in like that. No, wait. <sighs> okay. So there's this guy with all of the three stars in the world. Still level five though. And uh, the enemy's Phantom Assassin is down. The enemy, uh, yep, the enemy Slark is down. That's their main source of DPS. Of course, they also have a two star Queen of Pain. But her damage has been reduced thanks to the Life Stealer applying the Brute Bonus, applying. And someone already got knocked out with those Brawnies. That's peculiar. Okay, so we do need to keep buying those treated protectors, I think. And I'm pretty sure next round we need to roll, because this is becoming quite a disaster. I will probably want to get out of this Nature's Prophet now that I'm running out of space. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, goodbye Nature's Prophet. Uh, goodbye Earth Spirit. Should I play... I think I should play Marana here. And actually place her like that. This gives us Vigilant as well. We're still keeping up with most of our... Oh, well, there's a Lich. Okay, I'm not <laughs> I'm not rolling just yet, okay? I'll buy Lich next round, and then I'll roll to upgrade all of our stuff. Okay. Ah, uh, looks like this ain't going too well. <laughs> Help! Yup. Our entire team just got one shot by these assassins, uh, who actually are running quite a bit of swordsmen as well. Uh-huh. Oh, there's Wraith King. Uh, uh okay, that, that, that is getting very peculiar, so we've already, we've basically already reached, uh, Six Fallen, despite not even looking for them, but we, I think we can incorporate them into our build quite easily. We need Terra Blade, Life Stealer, Marana, Moonshard is excellent, I think. For hunters, anyhow. I'll probably place it like this. But we do seriously need to find, uh, start fighting upgrades. Okay, come on, there's Lich. Nice. There's Death Prophet. Okay, and now suddenly we have free space that we didn't have before. So Death Prophet gets this thing. She will definitely be attacking more. Uh, you know. Definitely have stronger attacks than Mirana. But Mirana probably wants to get this. Uh, now we should level up to 9. Uh, I mean, yes, 9. Yeah, so since we've got 6 Fallen online, we should definitely keep rolling here. I, I'm really hoping my Death Prophet does something. Okay, my Death Prophet destroyed the enemy's Enno, and now she destroyed the Prophet, uh, the other Prophet. <laughs> and now all that's left is Wind Ranger, and she's gonna take bonus damage from the Vigilance, and we win. So at least we match up pretty well. Against the other hunter, that's always reassuring. But we do need to continue leveling up. No one can stop the okay, I was going to buy Tide Hunter, because you know Tide Hunter is always good. But I think it's not gonna be necessary. We just need to level up and put everything in for now. So how can we place two uh, how can we place three more fallen in this lineup without completely ruining it? Now, right now we've got four Heartless, so I think our goal here is to replace Beastmaster, maybe? Huh. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, replacing Beastmaster doesn't sound like that great of an idea. Okay, well, Death Prophet activated her thing. She should do a lot of damage. Death Prophet does do a lot of damage. Not nearly as much as the Hunter, but yeah, 16 health, we lost just now. <clears throat> so now we need to figure out how to, oh yeah, 1, 2, 3, we're definitely leveling up to 9 next round. And I think we should replace this Drow first and foremost. That means we can replace Lifestealer as well now. Uh, excuse me, I said replace Lifestealer. And Wraith King goes in, and there we go. That's 6 Fallen. 
with some hunters. Maybe not quite enough. Okay, that is... Huh. Let's try it like this for now, I guess. And yeah, we need to get out of something here. I think we're leveling up to 10. Because we do have things to play. We just need, need to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. It looks like we're cleaning them up nicely. Okay, okay, come on. Uh, second uh, ability by the Jet Prophet. Uh, causing her to do a lot of damage and we actually win. Nice. So there are, <laughs> there are actually three players intending to go sixth Fallen. That's a... Uh, that's a bit of a problem, huh? Alright, so yeah, we will wait for a few more rounds before we- what? Oh, that's an Omni Knight. Okay. So yeah, what we need to get in, in addition to what we currently have, is Drow Ranger and Mirana. And how do we do that? Or maybe Lifestealer and Mirana, but again, how? I think the answer is we actually need to go for, uh... I think the answer is we actually need to sell the Beastmaster, surprisingly enough, and yeah, we are com uh, easily running over those Assassins now. The Assassin is out. Uh, also, the Rogue player is out. And we are in a fairly good position for first place, I dare say. Do we get out of Beastmaster or do we get out of Alchemist? I'm honestly not sure. But I actually think it's going to be Beastmaster, Maelstrom, Monkey King Bar, Cadence Bleed. Mm, let's go Maelstrom. I think Maelstrom will do a lot of damage at least, so that's cool. Uh, but now we need to give Dragonlance to someone else, like this lady maybe. A Desolator, well I don't know, maybe to Wraith King. Yeah, we do need to continue leveling up. Because there is no way we're gonna fit everything otherwise. Fight with everything you have. Mirana and Lifestealer, huh? Okay. So this fall on fall on matchup is getting quite awkward here. And I also don't like the fact that we might actually not... Wait, no, Mirana is already in. What am I talking about? <laughs> I didn't realize that. That was absolutely my bad. Okay, we need to contend with one more Death Prophet. Uh, that's fine. And we actually beat the other Fallen player. Pretty handily here. Excellent. Truly excellent. Alright, so there is. Yeah, it's pretty much Beastmaster out and Lifestealer... And, uh, f uh, and drought in. That's it. That's all we can do. One, two, three. Yes. Alright, so this, uh, the Fallen player leveled up to nine just now, by the way. But I guess we can't complain too much because we ourselves found Wraith King at level eight. That's very rare. Okay, that's a three-star Slark. That is, that looks horrifying. And I don't think we can actually, oh no. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do. I guess this friggin' three-star slark with a butterfly. And all this other nastiness. Okay, well. At least we're killing some stuff here, but yeah, they, these assassins are going to prove a major to prove to be a major problem. We lost 17 health from that. That sounds very dangerous. There's Wraith King. There's Medusa. Medusa could also prove to be a very nice addition. But I think Mirana's mobility will actually do more for us. There's another Abaddon. Yeah, so now all we need to do is not get knocked out in a single round. We can sell this Beastmaster. And then we'll be good next round. Let's go! We should have won, I know. It's the story of my life. Oh my god, this is a... This is the other Fallen player who is also in a win streak. That's not good. That 
Okay. Okay. The enemy has a Rage King. That's not very nice of them. Uh, yeah. It looks like we're losing this time, but on the plus side, at the very least, I don't think we should get the yep. other. 18. We lost 18 health. Like I predicted, we didn't get knocked out. At least sometimes lucky, I suppose, but yeah, now we need to do this and this. And now our lineup is complete. Alright, so there is Mirana. I think we should give her Moonshard over the other thing. Probably give this to Drow. Not sure how relevant that's gonna be. Alchemist, give Alchemist this thing. Give Lifestealer this thing. Place him, like, right here. Give... Well, that's pretty much it, actually. I don't know if that's gonna help. But this is as strong as we're gonna get. Oh, of course, there are the two star terribly, now that I'm about to die. Uh, yeah, I think we are getting knocked out here. Because this lark is ridiculous. But hopefully at least we can knock this guy out before we do we die. Yes! Yup. Eliminated this guy. Of course we are next on the chopping block, but no oh well. I suppose we did all we could. Yep. Fourth place. Yeah, it is nothing to be sad about, considering how incredibly unlucky we got in those two final rounds, you know, facing facing this horrible, fully upgraded assassins, which I'm pretty sure Amber Spirit and Slark should be mutually exclusive, but you like you shouldn't be able to upgrade both of them. But anyway, uh, I think that was a very nice demonstration of a, you know, how your average fallen, uh, you know, fallen hunter heartless game should go. And thankfully this time, unlike many other times I played through this build, I did manage to fight Wraith King soon enough. And that's always great. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one, so goodbye, and take care, everybody.